It's no a go for Joe as Scott Wright's move to Preston North End has hit a bit of a snag because apparently a permanent switch to Lanarkshire had been heavily tipped with the players said to have been visited at the club but the latest report indicated that the deal is off. Preston North End have moved on from a transfer target they have bid twice for recently who is believed to be a Rangers winger Scott Wright. And yeah, looks like this ain't happening and... <sighs> I want to rid of Scott Wright. I'm not going to shy away from that. I really did want rid of Scott Wright, but we haven't got rid of Scott Wright. So that just absolutely needs to get in the bin. And also, we had a comment earlier about here. Rangers have been, only been like three million, so this deal is probably not going to happen. But Sirion Dessers, it looked like it was going to happen, right? Oh, we've bid five million potentially, but this club wants seven million. And I just don't see how we're gonna even this deal that look close I, I don't know how we are even gonna get this guy if I'm being honest because it doesn't feel like we're serious serious surely if we want them would have got the job done like, even with all the terms are agreed I don't see how this team's gonna let them go for cheap they want seven million they're not gonna get seven million so therefore that's a big problem in terms of getting them because apparently Rangers have uh, earlier this month Improved bid were 4.2 million, potentially rising to 5.2 million. Um, while former Rangers defenders and Italian defender Sergio Parini tells the Scottish Express of Dessers he's a good player. He's a good, good player. If he's a first choice striker for Rangers, he'll score a lot. So, should Rangers get it done? Ah, man, but you're led to believe in the reports, even though, even I thought this deal was a lot closer, but. The way it's going right now, it doesn't feel that way. And we do have a report about Lincoln, 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 Linden, Linden Dykes. Um, I'd love to uh, get get Linden Dykes in, man. Just seeing how good he was against Norway. Well, I'll say how good he was against Norway, man. He wasn't exactly uh, great, but he got a goal and he got a great assist. And that assist that he got, that is what we need at Rangers, man. We need a striker to be able to lay it off for our wingers like Cantwell or like midfielders like Raskin, Cantwell, Hadji to hit shots away. Kind of what Morelos kind of used to do, not really this season. <laughs> Turned, you know, a build up play, man. That's what we need. Linden Dykes is everything you want. He is. I'd, I'd get Dykes in. Uh, absolutely. Why not? But the problem is with Dykes, Sam Lammers is a very similar player to where it's more about the build up rather than the goal scorer. And now I'm going to dive into some comments. Tav is a better record than him, says Gladiator Programmer. Yeah, probably agree with that. Uh, sure, the Dessert deal's taking time because they want six and a half, but we've offered three. They're all good inside trying to get cheeky. Take our money elsewhere if he's playing games. Yeah, that was the comment I was referring to earlier. Uh, we've got these comments from White Wolf and Wee G. Um, Spain don't need to win the group now after winning the Nations League final. They're through no matter what, but sh no sure what would happen if we finish second with them already being through. Um... Keep reading top two qualify automatically. I guess Spain's place would go to the third best place team. Who knows? International football's a bit of a joke. Yeah. The whole Nations League, of course, it's how we get in. But it's just the, it's the back door way in, man. Let's be real. It is the back door way in. Or getting into tournaments, man. I'm not a fan of it. But obviously, if it gets us in, I'll be a fan of it, if that makes sense. But yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll give them a couple of hearts. I've, I've, I've addressed the comments that need it addressed. Um, Jeanette McConnell says we are always slow we will lose him if we don't get him signed ASAP I agree with that especially with the fact it seems like we're just nowhere near their valuation but then again how much are we really willing to pay I don't personally I don't think Dessers is worth 7 million so what will Rangers think of that um, he will be a Rangers player size and clubs don't come close I agree Winston but Torino probably were more willing to pay the 7 million than us I um, mean, that's just a fake comment. We don't need to talk about them. Uh, Gordon Kennedy says, I would say better than one goal every two games last season for a worse team than ours. It's a slightly better league than ours. At the age of 23, no brainer. Get him signed. Yeah, the uh, Difficus, or however you pronounce the name, looks all right. As George Hamilton says, if we sell Davies and Kamara, there is your 7 million. Exactly, son. Exactly. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think this one will happen. Dessers is probably our next striker. That one means plus seven million. Yeah, exactly. It's either going to be Dessers or that Defiscus guy. Maybe that's why there's so many more links because Rangers just see like you'd rather sign a twenty-three year old for seven million. Um, Teddy Boy says, "What is it with Beal and him chasing and wanting to pay big money for strikers who are just not profit at all? This is embarrassing. Getting now, yeah, I can't see where he's coming from. I mean, 
<laughs> he says stats don't lie. We need a striker who scores 25 plus a season. We do. And that could be a big problem. Um, David Hodgson says he seems to be getting better each season, Stevie. He does this guy, and I think that's exactly what we need. But that's what I'm going to leave you guys. I love, I love, I love replying to the comments. Um, but, yeah, until next time, your thoughts down below, and peace.